If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Excel automatically enables the autosave feature when you save a workbook using the newest file formats to an online destination, like OneDrive or SharePoint. Autosave saves the file to the online location every few seconds as you work. You can toggle the autosave feature on or off for the current workbook by clicking the Autosave toggle button in the upper left corner of the workbook window in the Quick Access toolbar. When enabled, you can choose to manually save changes and also update the file with any changes made by other users of a shared file by clicking the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. However, note that you cannot click the Save command in the Backstage view when Autosave is enabled. You can make a copy of a file when Autosave is enabled by clicking the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save a Copy command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the save locations in the area to the right. This works the same way as initially saving the file. However, note that the saved copy is completely separate from the original file, and changes you make to the copy are not reflected in the original file. However, this is useful for making changes to a copy of the file you don't necessarily want other users to see when working on the original shared file online. You can also easily reverse changes you make to an online file with autosave enabled by using the same undo feature you use on locally saved files. However, in addition, you can also revert an online file with autosave enabled back to a previous save state. One way to do this is to click the drop down at the right end of the file's title within the title bar, and then select the version history command from the drop down menu. Alternatively, click the file tab in the ribbon, Click the Info command at the left side of the workbook if necessary, and then click the Version History button to the right. Either way, the Version History panel then appears at the right side of the workbook window. The various file save states appear sorted by date. You can scroll through the list and then click the version of the file to which to revert the current file to load the saved version in a separate window. A message box then appears at the top of the copy of the file above the formula bar, stating that this is a previous version. You can then either copy content from the Saved Copies window into the Current Versions window, save the previous version as a copy, or click the Restore button in the message box to restore the old copy of the file and overwrite the new copy. Alternatively, you can simply close the copy of the previous version to exit it without making any changes. If you want to stop Excel from automatically enabling autosave for all online files by default, you can click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the Excel Options window. Then click the Save category at the left side of the Excel Options window. Uncheck the Autosave files stored in the cloud by default in Excel checkbox to the right. Then click the OK button to save your settings and restart Excel. Regardless of whether or not it is enabled by default, you can always toggle Autosave on or off by using the toggle switch in the Quick Access toolbar for an individual online file. Excel remembers the individual file's autosave state each time you reopen the file in the future. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.